I know I probably shouldn't add this, but I've done a lot of movies, and I really didn't want to make the movie. And I do tell the actors, which you'll find out. But all I wanted to do is show my old movies. We found a theater that wasn't a bad price, but I had to kind of mutiny because the people I worked with and all that said, people's already seen your movie. If you're going to premiere it, you need to make a new one. So I was cocky, you know. Because I made so many movies, so I was like, fine, let's just make another movie. Moon base sound like a good idea because I could actually just film in one location in the house, do green screen, which by the way, I did not know and still not know a green screen too well. We'll get to that too. So, I was like, screw it. Let's cast. So, uh, we had like 35 people show up. We had good stations. Uh, Peachy would check them in. Had Adam on one camera doing auditions. I was doing voiceover, uh, well, back, actually, facial expressions because you know you got to be able to sell the thing. So I get them to say, you know, I want this role, happy, sad, and all that. Um, and then Sharon, you know, was going through the information with them. Uh, but it was funny. Jacob was helping out. As basically, I knew I wanted him in the movie. He'd done some other movies with me, and uh, <laughs> he asked me how many roles I needed for Moonbase. I told him, I'll let you know when I write it. Don't do that. <laughs> like I said, I was cocky. I made a lot of movies. So I was really trying to make this one as hard as possible, apparently. So anyway, we had auditions, okay? And just like auditions, there'll be people that you like and they won't work out. Either, you know, money too far, scheduling, you name it. You get a bunch of people that you think and you kind of interact with them. So you have second callbacks. The thing about it is it doesn't matter. Okay, give it to her, let her do it. They aren't up and running yet. Of course, this has been on a need to know basis. <laughs> let the games begin. <laughs> and this way you can actually um, get them to play off each other, see who works good with each other. So I had second callbacks and I told them, look, you guys are going to probably film. I did tell him that I didn't have a script yet. Uh, I told him I did not want to do the movie because I just came off of a movie that took me a year to edit. And I knew this one was going to take me a year. At least. We'll get to that. Um, <laughs> but I told him when they leave, if they really want to do it, to text me. But I want all or nothing. And my phone was blowing up as soon as they went out and got in their cars. So I was like, great. So now i got to write the script. So anyway, told him I didn't want to do it. They all wanted to do it, had to write it, so now, while I'm writing it, I start planning. Planning means you got to build everything, get all the props that you want. You get props wherever you can, even out of a dumpster. I wanted, uh, you know, like an airlock, but this is what we came up with, using that dumpster door. You know, you, you make whatever you can from whatever you can. So, I built this wall for scene I ain't gonna talk about then the green screen which I did not know how to do threw it up really big actually using this wall here uh, threw up some lights is I changed the lights as I was going try to make it better but then there's scenes at the beginning that are harder to edit so we get all the stuff um, we decide on the suits now here's the suits for white originally wanted to try a different color but blue worked the best uh, because the white would have just reflected it. I wanted yellow, but that's too close to green. We all hated painting them things. They took so long. And everybody had to have like three of them. We did try different colors like gray. That didn't work out though. Then I called them back when I had the script ready. For like a read through. But here's the thing. <laughs> they only got their parts. Nobody still to this day knows the whole script. Except for me. Uh, I only wanted them to concentrate on who they interact with and how their part goes. They don't need to know about everything else. They'll get to see that when they watch the movie. Most people can't get away with doing that, but the actors apparently wanted to do it so bad that they trust me and went with it. So uh, I did try to green screen them a little bit while they were doing that just to see how it would go. Um, I knew I was in trouble, so. So once I got my cast... I got to put them on my website. A little bit of advertisement. Changed the movie to Alien Parasite. 
because I found out that there was a lot of moon-based titles. Anyway, we start filming. Uh, like I said, I know it's going to take about five, six days of shooting. Oh, man. It was a headache to be prepared. It was all-nighters. And then filming all day the next day. I know. I just want to close up. You were saying it. What the hell? I can't be in here. I know. You'll be over. You'll be over. So, filming went okay. Um, so, we filmed it. The dogs were not happy. I have to edit everything first. Before I call them back to do their voiceovers. No sense in doing voiceovers for something that's not in the movie. Which I did anyway because by the time six months rolled around, I still didn't have the whole movie done. So I kept like just piling up their scenes. I was really worried about too much time and not getting the actors to come back in order to do all their voiceovers. Now I needed a place to do the voiceovers, so I had to build a sound room in the basement. I actually took old carpet, stuffed it in there, and bought the sound proof things, and that's what this is here, you know. Um, and they came back and they did their voiceovers, every single one of them. So, lining it up was hard. So once I get that done, it took another year to do all the voiceovers for everybody. I need backgrounds for these things. Uh, make some CGI pictures and stuff like that. But the problem with that is I got too many angles. I got too many things and it costs too much money. Um, so I had to build the little models myself. Now here's what got me in trouble is I found out that my cameras wouldn't work because they wouldn't get close enough and then it would be blurry. And I know everybody told me backgrounds are supposed to be blurry, depth of feel. But I want to be able to do that. I still need it to look the way I, I need it to look. But I made so many sets for like six months. I built them everywhere. In the basement. But then I had like a family gathering and I had to get rid of them all. But I shot them all. I figured I shot them every way possible. But that didn't work. You know. And actually I feel a little bit bad because some of the stuff that's in the trailer probably won't be in the movie because it was old sets. I didn't have all the angles and I can't recreate what I had so then I had to start over again. Now I got these little figures. It was about scale and size but yeah I dug a hole for myself. <laughs> now whatever I have I have because I actually if you watch this what I would do is shoot the angles and then look off the um, computer for shot by shot. Once I had this technique down of like the size of the rooms scaled and the little camera that could fit in there. So I still have a problem of some things are bigger than they're supposed to be in one shot and the other. But when you're dealing with miniatures like that, it's all new to me. That's a big problem there. But either way, I'm over three years in. Uh, I can't quit. When will it be done? I don't know. But it will be done. I'll keep at it. Get this movie done so I can start something else.